welcome back. Today I have a skincare review product video thingy-majig. That went well. Um, basically I'm just going to review some of the skincare I've been using. That's what I mean to say. That's me. Use 20 words when actually only four are necessary. So we're going to crack on. I haven't got a lot. I've only got five things. At least I can count. Um, yeah, five. Um, so let's begin. First is from a company you know I really like, which is Be Good. Um, it is a British company, a beauty award winner in 2015 as well, and it's made by British bees. I don't know if foreign bees try and get in the country with passports. I have no idea how bee um, travelling works, but it says it's made by British bees, so... There we go. And this is their facial exfoliator. Um, it polishes, hydrates and calms congested and dull skin. It's also a great exfoliator if you find that some of them are a bit too harsh and you find you break out or your skin becomes very red. It's a really nice one that you can use two, even three times a week. It's very, very gentle. Um, my first opening of this, and I think I've said this in another video somewhere, I actually emailed the company because it smelt so good. I felt I needed to share that with them. Not that they didn't know it, but you know, that's what I do. Um, beautiful product, I really love this. I use it first thing in the morning, um, just to brighten my skin when I've woken up rather than cleansing or I'll use it on an evening after I've cleansed my skin. I'll either apply it to dry skin if I want to give it a really good exfoliation process or, or I'll apply it to damp skin and work it round and then remove it with a cloth or a flannel or in the shower. If you remove your skincare in the shower make sure you turn the heat down. If you're like me and you like to scold yourself in the shower, turn it down when it's going onto your face. It's not good and it breaks all the capillaries and everything. Um, and I do sometimes find it easy to remove exfoliators in the shower, but yeah, just turn the heat down on your shower a little bit if you're washing your face off. But such a gorgeous product. I love the brand. They don't test on animals. There are no parabens, silicones, artificial colours, uh, mineral oil. If you don't like anything like that, it's not in here. But certainly an option. If you find you worry about using exfoliators or you have a problem, it's gentle enough to use two or three times a week. Really lovely. And a good size as well. You don't need a lot to do your whole face. Loved. And I was given the opportunity to try collagen in a tablet form from Ingenious Beauty. And it's Ultimate Collagen Plus. And you get 120 capsules which you take three every evening. Must be taken on an evening, preferably on an empty stomach, and they actually work while you're asleep. There's no additives in here, and it's been proven to reduce fine lines by 26%. There you go. Um, they are quite large, the tablets, first of all. So if you have a problem taking tablets or capsules, be warned. I'm not too bad. I can actually take tablets without water sometimes. If they're tiny, I can. Um, these were a learning curve. They were a little bit of take one, have a break, and then take another one. But as soon as I got into the routine, it was fine. There's no aftertaste. They don't smell of anything. There's nothing like that at all. Um, what did I notice? Not exactly the same as the collagen I had last year, which I wouldn't have expected. You expect different things. Um, for me, I did notice a change in my hair and my nails, strangely enough. Probably been taking these about maybe three weeks when I thought, gosh, my hair is growing really fast. And it doesn't. It's really slowed down as I've got older. But I trimmed my own hair and I had to trim it sort of two times, which is unusual for me. It was really getting quite long and straggly in places. The other thing I noticed were my nails. Because I keep my nails short because I'm typing all the time. I noticed that I was trimming my nails down a lot more than normal. So hair and nails, certainly my hair has been in better condition. Um, I haven't dyed it for the last probably about five weeks. Normally I'm dyeing it every four or five weeks. Um, and I find the condition gets quite awful as the dyes grow now. I feel I need to dye it, but this time I don't. Even though there's a lot of grey, it actually is in pretty good condition and I've never had that before. So yeah, they've been good to take. Um, the size of them I would say is the only thing people may struggle with, but once you get used to it, it's it's not a problem at all. And I didn't have any other problems at all, they were absolutely fine. 
what I would say is if you do have any allergies, any problems, um, especially I'm just trying to see if it says about pregnancy as well. What I would say is anything like this, double check with your doctor if you have any concerns at all first before you take things. But uh, I was absolutely fine, I had no problem. Obviously because they do have um, fish and vegetable origin, fish origin if you do have any allergies, I know you're going to know this but please do double check before uh, consuming anything. My next two are from the same brand, just how it happened. One is um, a hand serum, which I really like because if you don't like sort of thick emollient hand creams, this is perfect. It's Bodium Birch Lime Blossom Protecting Hand Serum. It's also antibacterial as well. It's a great thing maybe to have in your kitchen or in your bathrooms. I actually have it by the bed because you know how neglectful I am of my hands and this reminds me to do it every evening. It's a superb option as well to keep your cuticles in great condition. Um, the beauty of it is you can either use it on its own and it absorbs really quickly or you can apply this and then apply a cream over the top so a double whammy of hydration for your hands. I've loved it and the lime scent just really lifts my spirits. I love zesty fragrances and this is beautiful. A little goes a long way and I did notice a change in my hands from regularly moisturising them. It's made a huge, huge difference so I'm determined to keep going. And pretty bottles and nice smelling products make me want to do it more so a huge success with the serum. Next it's a cleanser. How could I not? It's the Bodium Birch Rosa Rosa uh, Clarifying Cleanser. Um, now, you can use clarifying cleansers in many ways. A lot of people use them to take their makeup off. I actually don't. I use this as a third cleanse, which sounds excessive, but I enjoy skincare and my cleansing routine. And I'll double cleanse, and then I'll apply this and work it around my face and massage it almost a facial. And then I remove it with a hot cloth or a flannel and it just leaves my skin super smooth and bright and it's just better. The clarifying cleansers work really well with me. I probably use it twice a week. I don't like to overdo it and it tends to be more on an evening but I do find that my skin reacts well to clarifying cleansers if I don't use them too often. Nicely scented. It is for normal to dry skin but it actually works with my skin. Although I'm sort of oily combination, sometimes I find that skincare aimed at that skin type can be too much of my skin. It can almost strip it. Where this I feel just nourishes it, cares for it, keeps it on an even balance but it really keeps my skin super clean and I absolutely love the glass bottle. And no, it's not travel friendly, but it's bathroom friendly. I love it on display in my bathroom. It's gorgeous. And finally, a sample product, but it's from the wonderful brand Oskia, and it's part of their Renaissance 360. And they're adding an anti-age and brightening supreme cream. Um, this lasted ages. It was 10 mils, but it lasted forever. A really super rich cream. If you like your creams, this is divine. Um, it leaves a nice glow to the skin, although it's absorbed, you don't have that sort of flat matte skin, which I'm not always so keen on with my skin. It does have a natural SPF, but it's only about an 8, so I would use this and then use a separate SPF. I tend to use a 50. Um, beautiful product, superb for makeup, popping your makeup over the top. Um, I often just used it when I wasn't putting any makeup on, my skin really looked super it just had that glow about it um because i've been using a lot of products recently and trialing lots of products not that i've had any breakouts but my skin often gets quite fed up is the word and it can become quite tight and dehydrated and a little bit dry when i'm mixing a lot of skincare and i found that popping this on just sorted it out it made it sort of in its happy place again um loved it and I would certainly when I've gone through my pile of skincare I've got to go through I would definitely look at Oscar again I just think they're such a good brand and generally everything I've had I've loved of course there are things you're not going to like but um, overall superb brand and I just love this so much and that's it told you it was just five that's great easy to do and it means it's not an awfully long video any questions you know what to do, my lovelies. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.